Hi, it's Terry Gaines. In this video, I'm going to give you assembly tips on a fun fold card. Before I start with the project, I'm going to share the product I'm using. The product is from Stampin' Up's 2022-2023 annual catalog. It is part of the Hues of Happiness collection. The collection is purchasing four products with one code number. The products in the collection are the Glossy Dots assortment, four colors, three different sizes, these beautiful adhesive back embellishments. The collection has a stamp set and a die set. The stamp set is has some beautiful floral images you can color in. It's got some absolutely beautiful sentiments in two different fonts. All of these images can be cut out with the dies, along with a die for an edge that looks like you tore the um, paper out of a notebook. You've got this edge and then a cut die cut that will cut that opening. Beautiful collection of product. One of my favorites is the designer series paper in that collection. It coordinates with all of these beautiful colors. It is 12 by 12 in size. You receive two each of the six double-sided prints and they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to show you the front and back of the different prints. And I'm going to use this paper to for layering my project, but I'm also going to use it for embellishing the card. And um, my two, uh, I love all this paper, but I absolutely love the fact that these last two pieces, if you have your front and the back, you can cut out these flower images with the dies. What I did was I just took my paper and cut up between flowers and leaves and cut them into three strips. Then I took those strips and ran them through my cut and emboss machine and I was able to cut out all of these different images which makes um, creating so easy. You could also fussy cut these but having the dies makes it so much easier. So that's the product I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Melon Mambo on this card and this is actually a repeat of a project that I did in January. I created this card back in January. I'm creating the same card. I have some different dimensions for it. All the dimensions will be available on my blog. If you found me via YouTube, there is a direct link to my blog post for this uh, blog post for this card, along with a PDF that you can download for the card I'm going to share with you. And I'm also going to share another project with you using the same concept is creating this card, this fun fold in a five by seven size. So let me start out with our, our standard card size. What we want to do is have a 11 by five and a half inch card stock. We are going to score that at one and three quarters, at three and one half, at five and one quarter, and at seven. And I have this diagram, and as I mentioned, I have a PDF that you can download from my blog that will have this diagram to assist in assembling. So what we wanna do is take and make a mountain, well, I'm gonna start with this one. We're gonna do a valley fold on this fold. We're going to do a mountain fold on the next one. We're gonna do a valley fold on this one. And then we're going to do a mountain fold on this one. So use your bone folder to help crease those, and this will be our card. I've got this diagram to help with the different layers that we're going to create. So on this plat or this panel right here, we have a layer that is three and three quarter by five and a quarter. This could be cordon or a stamped cardstock. It can be designer series paper. It can be texturized cardstock. I am going to use this beautiful designer series paper that is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to look for equal spacing on the two sides and that one end and place that down first. Then right here we have designer series paper that I've got cut at one and a half by five and a quarter and actually two of those. I'm not going to decorate this panel. I'm going to decorate this panel and this panel. You do have the option of decorating these panels. It's the same size for your designer series paper. I like to keep those open, but it is a personal preference. So you are able to add designer series paper. What I'm doing is I'm looking for equal spacing on all sides. 
and then I'm going to fold this like this. This last one I'm going to close this and adhere this because then I can look at my top and bottom to kind of get that aligned correctly before I adhere it. So use your favorite adhesive and we'll put this on like here. So then we will have that decorated. So aren't those colors beautiful? So the next thing we're gonna do is look at this piece. So this is a two and a quarter by three and a quarter designer or cardstock. And then this layer is two by three. And this is for your sentiment. This is gonna be slightly visible when you have the card open. So I have this stamped already. I use some of the designer series paper. I failed to mention this. <clears throat> I also cut out these side pieces because you can use those to decorate the inside of your card. So I've got that done ahead of time to save some video prep time. And I would advise you to put this on first. Look for equal spacing on top and bottom, equal spacing on the two sides, and um, meaning these two are equal and these two are a different equal. They're not equal in all four sides place that down first. Then what this is representing is that card that's going to be adhered to this panel and to this panel. This is not to scale, but the dimensions are correct for what you need. You need a five by three and a half, scored at two and a half. And then this is also the same as this size. This is two by three, and this is a two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I texturized this with the Painted Texture 3D folder. And to save some time, I already have that decorated. So I used a cutout, I used the sentiment stamp. We want that to be a mountain fold. And as I mentioned, that's going to be adhered like so. To do that, you want a very strong adhesive. I would advise you to use the tear and tape. And I'm going to place that right on the edges of this card and an inside. So this is going to be adhered like so. So what I'm going to do is place this over this and we're gonna look for equal spacing on top and bottom and the sides. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna hold this down. Sometimes putting pressure on that tear and tape backing helps release it. So I'm going to make sure I didn't turn that. So get that. Then I'm gonna fold this piece down. It's gonna adhere to the right location there. I'm gonna fold this flat. Now this is going to come down like that. So now what I'm going to do is just take this backing off and close this. So there we have the assembly of that card. Now I mentioned that I am duplicating this concept. This is a smaller size, but this I made a little bit different in size. So you can change up this card size to be taller or wider. And um, that's a preference for how you want to decorate that. So now I have my different images that I'm going to decorate this with. So what I wanna do is take, um, I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just going to curve these a little bit down to go this direction and then just take and curve the edges up right in the middle on the back. I'm going to put two dimensionals. And I these dimensionals are very strong. You um, don't need a lot of them on there. And I'm just putting them, I'm gonna put this about here. For this flower, I'm just going to curve it inward like that. Just add a little bit of dimension to the project. And I'm going to place this one right here. And then I'm going to take a leaf. There's two different styles. Absolutely beautiful designer series paper. Just put one on the back. This one I'm gonna tuck right here. And this one I'm gonna curve down and curve the tips up a little bit. I'll place one here. And then can tuck these any place you want. There you go. So that is my fun fold card. 
absolutely love this designer series paper. I received a phone call from a follower who told me that she loved this card and would love to make it in a five by seven size and asked if I could assist her with dimensions. So I created some um, of these sketches and I'll have a flyer you can download from my blog where if you want a five by seven card and you are using 11 or eight and a half by 11 cardstock, I have the dimensions so you can create this card. Now you have less panel here because we only are limited to 11 inches, but follow the same instructions. This card is bigger and I absolutely love this size of card. I am going to start making more of these. I'm thankful she called me. So then I thought, well, what if you use 12 by 12 paper? You could get this panel a little bit wider. So this is using the 12 by 12 paper. You have your panel a little bit wider. As I mentioned already, you can change this dimension up. So if you download my PDF, this diagram here, this card right here is the size for this card. So I duplicated that card and made this slightly smaller. So if you want this piece to be smaller, use you can use these dimensions. If you want this piece to be bigger, you can use those dimensions. Hopefully that all made sense. But isn't this a beautiful card made with this designer series paper? And as I mentioned, you can download this flyer. You can download a flyer that has the dimensions for our standard card. And I hope you found this video helpful. I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the red box under the video. Then select the box or the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Take care and happy creating.